see what I mean by making sure your belt's not going to flop up against that. Welcome back to the Dusty Wrench. If you watched our last video, you saw I was having some issue with the pump on this lube miser unit, and I wanted to walk you through the solution on that. The um, called wood miser that was Saturday when we had the issue, and I called wood miser on Monday because they were not open on Saturday and I chatted with them over there. Turned out to be that little check valve, three PSI check valve. If you go to buy this check valve from Woodmiser, that is going to be a 19-ish dollar fix. So if you guys know of a cheaper alternative, uh, drop those in the comments because I would be curious to know in case I ever have that problem again or any of our community has that issue. I'm very thankful it was not the pump. Uh, so, you know, I'd much rather pay 20 bucks than the cost of the pump. That was one of my concerns when I purchased this mill and talking it out with Joe. Uh, that was one thing he said 99% of the time uh, when you have problems, it resides with this guy and not with the pump. It'll push It'll push the ice into this and find its escape there. That being said, um, that's not a guarantee. So, the, the issue now is, and I've got it to where I can use it. I was using it all through the week. And it's, uh, like I say, I called Wood Miser on Monday. This was waiting on me on Wednesday, and this is the first time I'm able to take a few minutes to button her back up. And I'm using it without this check valve in it. The only issue is it's very similar to a gravity feed system. You've got the pump that'll push the water in, but there is nothing to stop the water from continuous to gravity feed out. So that is uh, that is the downside to that. This guy's going back in, and that way we don't lose water until we are ready for water to go on our blade. Um, so join me. So I'm using an 11 millimeter deep socket. I actually got a little, uh, a little cheap universal on here so that I can get into this kind of goofy spot. to get up into I'm gonna see if I can move you guys in a little tighter take this little bracket right here loose and then we're gonna unscrew this and put our check valve onto there But we're unscrewing this from that plastic portion of the line there. And of course, anytime you're using plastic on metal fittings, be careful not to over tighten or cross thread because that could end up costing you money.
And of course, while you're in here, you can always check your belt. Look over it for signs of wear and whatnot. So that should be good. We're gonna go ahead and put this line back on. And before we put that bracket back on, we're gonna turn on the lube miser system and make sure everything's got flow, everything's working properly. Now we'll turn on the water source and come back to our key, turn it on, and then to our pump. Turn, put in forward. silver fitting there but she seems to be working fine now and I feel confident in that so we'll put this uh, put this hanger back up put our bolt back in that and then we'll button up the cover and we'll call it a day we'll go ahead and get this thing packed up and ready to go to work tomorrow I'm gonna go ahead and start the engine. Make sure everything is, looks okay. Hopefully you can see what I mean when I say your belt, make sure your belt's not gonna flop up against those lines. And we will button this bad boy back up. Thanks for joining us for this episode of the Dusty Ranch. I hope you learned something. I hope you gained some value from this video. If so, please consider subscribing. Hit that like button, the bell notification. Any concerns or comments, drop them in the box below. And until we see you next time, keep it dusty.